Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's session. Happy Monday to those folks out there. We are closing out the end of March. Can't wait to see who joins us tonight on the live show. How's my sound? Checking in with my folks. Where's my future GovCon Giants at? Where's my LinkedIn crowd at? Where's my Facebook crowd? We're streaming on three different platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. I know this was last minute, so uh, we anticipate, right? Some folks are gonna come on a little bit late as they learn about the streams, so that's okay. Today we're talking about bid opportunities. We're gonna actually look at, I'm gonna pull it up here momentarily, because I like to go over and help people understand I was playing with this over on the screen. But we're gonna go back over into Sam and we're gonna scroll through and we're gonna talk about some bids. I haven't done this, I don't think I've done it all month yet. So this should be exciting for those who've never seen me do my bid opportunities lessons. This is a good one. I actually enjoy these because uh, what we're doing is we're identifying opportunities early on in the process before they make it out to public bid. The reason why we're doing this today, I was literally doing an episode of my podcast with a new guest, and they talked about the importance of sources sought, RFIs, and so I definitely want to come on tonight. Uh, if there's any newbies out there, I just want to come on, go through it, show some of the things that we're working on as well. Let me know who's out there. Uh, by the way, tell me who's out here. And also, if you have any questions about the new Small Business Accelerator or Academy 3.0 Video Repository, our course, let me know. Uh, essentially, we're going to discuss that as well. Any questions we're taking. Uh, also, if you have anything that you're working on that you want to talk to me about, let me know. All ears. So with that said, tell me who's here. Let's see what we got. Abram. I love it. Jaquin Harrison, Harrison Service Group out of Arlington, Texas, low voltage service. Uh, super important need. Who else is in the room? Tell me who you are. Tell me the city that you're from. Tell me your industry. Tell me what you do so we can uh, put you up on the big screen. So I got my man, Jaquin Harrison. <clears throat> All right. Who else is out here today? Who else? I got my man, Ronnie. All right. Ronnie, Business Enterprise Consultant, Construction, BD. All right. Trey says he's working on a current RFP. So let's see if we can help Trey out today. Uh, what's the RFP for, Trey? I actually myself submitted an RFI that was due at 5 p.m. that I worked on. Who else is here? Uh, I love, by the way, if you're not already following me on LinkedIn, I know the LinkedIn people clearly are. Uh, I may, you know what? I may just have to start doing sessions directly on LinkedIn. But if you're not following me on LinkedIn, make sure you do. We actually, uh, my that's actually seemed to be my biggest following base. It's growing quicker than ever is LinkedIn. So tell me, again, tell me who you are, the industry that you're in, right? And then a city, so we know. Make sure to follow me on LinkedIn if you're not already doing so. I'm dropping my LinkedIn in the chat right now. We're discussing sam.gov opportunities. All right, let's see who's here. Who else do we have? My man Chris Page Moore is consistent. That's why he's gonna get results. If you missed the other day, we talked about we talk, Chris Page Moore came up. Uh, my man's consistent. That's why he's getting results. Oh, we have a proposal manager here, Brenda. Thanks for joining us today, Brenda. Look at that. So, we have a proposal manager in the house. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Thanks for showing up. Ronald Reeves, Columbus, Georgia, Cyber Boost. Nice. Welcome. Welcome, Ronald. All right. Yes, sir, Mr. Coach. How are you? All right, Sean, newbie trucking facility management. All right, Alabama. 
Love it. Transportation logistics. All right. We're going to do a couple more. TND Holding Company, janitorial. Subgroup 10, April 12th, 15th, St. Croix. I love it. Adrian, uh, working on building inspection, licensing, also 10, FIU for Bachelor of Science and Construction Management. Great job. Daniel, multi line solutions, label and packaging, process automation. Again, I tell people all the time, use this as your chance to meet and connect with other folks. In fact, today, I literally today, uh, like I said, the person I interviewed for my podcast, I met them at the Sammy conference last year and um, we connected. And then next thing you know, we're doing a podcast together. So um, I just want to say, you know, just want to say that. My man says, sorry, I've been on lately. I've um, been running rugged due to completing the Texas Ranger Stadium. No problem. I get it. So let's do this. Let's jump over to Sam. Uh, and let's get started today because I want to be respectful of the people that did show up on time and all the other latecomers. You guys just tell them what they should be doing. All right. Uh, so thank you for sharing that and telling us who you are, what you do. By the way, like I said, uh, we're going to go through Sam.gov. Um, and, I, you know, I, I know that there's other software tools out there. There's other programs, there's other platforms out there. Uh, but this is free, and this is the government's database. So this is why I always reference SAM.gov, because this is the government's database. Let me clear up my results. So we'll go back home. So we'll go back to zero, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So we're going to go back to SAM, hit search. Nothing too crazy. Contract opportunities. I'm sure most of you have done this before. Uh, what I see most people do not do is most people go straight to solicitations, combine synopsis solicitations, right? Um, but I actually go here to sources sought. And for the purposes of today's example, I'm going to look at updated in the past week. Uh, and so you'll see here there's 808 results under search. Uh, what I do is I click actions. And I'm not going to save the search. I'm going to download it, click the CSV file, and then hit download. And then what it does is it downloads the search to my computer. Perfect. Now I pull it up over here in Google Sheets. And now you can see I have all of the 800 results here in my Google Sheets. We're going to go through this today. Uh, if someone sees anything, um that makes sense let me know uh just drop it in the chat and then we'll pull it up and we'll look at it and see how do we respond to that opportunity now a couple things i'll, I'll just let people know but well, one is we do have templates for how to respond to sources thoughts um i just used one today matter of fact let me see if i can pull one up for you real quick while we're talking uh if you're just joining us now tell us who you are Tell us your city, uh, your industry that you're serving as well. Hold on one second. I'll just pull one up. So here's an example of a template that uh, I was provided to this company that uh, we responded to recently. Um, so we do have templates available for those folks who need help with that. So let's go back over here to the results. And let's see what we have out here under sources sought. Now, how many people, all of my people, again, where this is a, a working session, uh, how many people know why we're doing this? How many people know why we're looking at sources sought. How many people know uh, what we're doing that for? All right, Stephanie, Mr. Coach's wife. Nice. Danny and Stephanie. Okay, I got you. Brian Davis, CEO of Stealth Tech Services, Marietta, Georgia. All right, nice. Uh, so does anybody know why we're looking at sources sought today? All right. If you do, drop it in the chat. Uh, I'm going to keep going. So now we're here, we're looking at sources of thoughts. 
And let's see what we have out here. Anything. Secondary yield measuring, uh, U.S. Army Corps engineers, paving projects, highest Air Force Base cold spray repair services, IDIQ, A&E services, contract for secured space and contracts. Let me see what the people put in chat. All right. Brenda says, get your foot in the door. Great job, Brenda. Deshaun says, upcoming opportunities. Correct. Dana says, it's really important. It's your way to contracts. So Quinn says, forecasting future projects. All good answers. Uh, and remember, this is how the government does their market research. Uh, so if you want to get in front of the government before an opportunity comes out, this is the best way to do it. The other thing is, keep in mind, like on occasion, not all the time, but on occasion, uh, we've had stories where the government has sent the RFP directly to the person who responded to the source of sought notice. So again, not that that's going to happen each and every time, but uh, my podcast guest has happened to her. It's happened to me. It's happened to Maria. So again, uh, if we do not help the government with their market research, the only people that stand to lose are us, the small businesses, because when we are talking to notice my shirt has anybody ever noticed my shirt see what my shirt says Austin here blah 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 office of small disadvantaged utilization this is my hoodie what do they do work with industry partners and program offices to maximize prime opportunities for small businesses yes I wear this hoodie right I have a lot of Austin awesome shirts because this is the way that we're going to use Right to help the government help us to maybe set aside opportunities for small businesses, let them know we're out here and that we exist, and also uh, get ahead of the opportunity. So we're getting on uh, early in the pipeline. Uh, Deshaun, yes, you could on YouTube. You could, these are for sale, um, the hoodies and the t-shirts. So let's go back. Bum, bum, bum. All right, IDIQ security guard services. Anybody does security guard services? Well, this is Alaska. Uh, multidisciplinary IDIQ for a &E services, sources shop, mountain forecast training, training courses, professional uh, credentials and continuous learning. Oh, FACC. I just posted about FACC today. I literally just posted about this today. Hold on. Fact check. Let's go over here. Hold on. Hold on. Look at my post today on LinkedIn. What does it say? This was done 10 hours ago. Certification expanding knowledge. Federal Acquisition Certification FAC program. Boom. I just posted about that today. Coincidentally. All right. Shredding services. Um, sterilizer Animal Maintenance New Award. Outpatient Clinic. Prepare to uh, replace two shock mountains on a minute trailer. Software support. Demo and build fan section of four air handling units. Concrete delivery, five year IDIQ. Stop me if you see anything that you like. US, uh, USAS, Military Ocean Terminal Concord, rail curves, forklift. Clinical program support for participation rem rem remuneration, travel and subsidence. Also, time charter. Okay. Clinical program support. Uh, who's over there in St. Croix? Where's my St. Croix guy? Sources of office lease space in St. Croix, Virgin Island. Jacksonville Road Maintenance. Special time charter. Those are charter. I wish, I mean, I wish someone on here had access to these freaking, uh, those charter ships. I, every time I do this, I see charters. Air ambulance, ooh, scopes maintenance. Beverage serving counter, National Force R&D office. Pack automatic parachutes. Patient bed inspection maintenance repair services. Let me go back to the chat.
My man, Daniel said, Eric, by responding to so I ended up meeting with the director and a small business specialist. Give Daniel a round of applause. Did you guys hear that? Did you see what Daniel said? Give Daniel a round of applause. All right. Good job, Daniel. I love it, man. I love it. I'm going to, I'm starring that. Okay. So this is why this is important, folks. Mine says pre selection opportunity before I go out to bid and have input and solicitation. Correct. Um, man, Trey says I'm doing an event RFP for the Department of Navy in St. Croix today. Laundry and dry cleaning. All right. Nice. Um, optical, somebody said Sienna Optical Transport Network. All right. Let me see what that is. All right. Let's go back. I don't see that one. Okay, I don't see it, sorry. All right, let me keep going. All right, slope tower repainting. Uh, by the way, uh, my buddy does painting, right? He paints buildings. We painted a tower down in the Keys. Let me tell you something. A, he made a mint on that tower, okay? Painting a tower is not like painting a building. So uh, it was specialty work and you got paid specialty prices. All right, let's see. Ah, you you way ahead of me. All right, X-ray room, request for fresh brick goods, university library, library tools. Uh, let's see, GSA brokerage services, DOD commercial sensory, Guam, portable office space. Ooh, I think I know someone could do that one. I'm gonna tag this one, come back later. Aircraft lighting systems, patient cleaning, laundry dry cleaning. Is that the one you want? Laundry dry cleaning and alteration? Yep. All right. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Laundry dry cleaning. Hinesville, Georgia, laundry dry cleaning alteration. Sounds simple enough. By the way, uh, one of our students picked up two uh, of these contracts from Source of Sots that was exactly this, laundry dry cleaning stuff. Let's see what this says. All right. Dry claim army, army uniforms, dress uniforms, alteration repair of clothing, maintain caliber of tracking all laundry, contract to pick up and delivery. The proposed contract should furnish all supplies. Uh, one week, five days for cleaning of 250 uniforms. Easy enough. Okay, that's pretty easy. Now let's see what they want you to submit for the RFI. The reason why we do this, let's see what they're asking for. Okay, uh, let's see. Entry parties are requested six submitment. Entry parties are requested to submit a capability statement of no more than 10 pages in length, times new Roman font, not less than 12 pitch. The deadline is 2 p.m. February 24th, what, huh? Why is this old? Interesting. I'm not sure why this is old, but either way, we'll we'll take a look at it. So uh, one thing that that's important to know is this is where a lot of people mess up, right? If, I, if you go on my LinkedIn, we talked about this before, uh, where contracts are not following instructions. So it says, no more than 10 pages, 
Times Roman 12 pitch. Where's my proposal writing person at? Where is she at? Where is she at? Brenda. Brenda, can you tell them what happens when you submit a response that's greater than 10 pages? Okay. What happens if it's greater than pages? Can somebody tell me? Right? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, oh, we got a general turtle company. Yes, Ernesto, the video will be available for you to watch later. No worries. And I don't know why this is blurry, to be honest with you. <laughs> trash. Somebody says trash. Back to the past. Bid rejection. So, one, this is not a bid. This is a source of salt. It's an RFI. Um, but what happens if you submit more than 10 pages? Right? So this is, I was looking for my bid proposal person, she might have left, uh, to answer. All right, so what I've heard, right, this is what I've heard from uh, government people. Uh, on bids, if you don't follow instructions like this, I've heard a couple things. Um, one, I've they've said to me that, no, they don't necessarily reject it, right? They don't knock you out the bid and they don't reject it. What they take is, let's say you submit 12 pages, so uh, one woman said to me, she takes the last two pages and throws them in the garbage and only looks at the first 10. I had another person tell me she takes two pages out the middle, throw those away, and then looks at those 10 pages. So um, it's, your bid still gets accepted. Um, they just take out two pages, right, and throw those in the garbage and they're not considered. Yeah. I think that's kind of worse than uh, throwing your whole bit in the garbage. Uh, so I just, and again, uh, if anybody else has any differing experiences, please share. <laughs> okay, well, that's case says they're ruthless. Hey, they want you to follow the rules. All right. So let's just keep that in mind, right? No more than 10 pages. Now, if you don't do the 12, if you don't do times Roman and you do uh, less than 12, that's when you get rejected, definitely. But the page rule, I've heard them just dis uh, just take the pages out and throw those in the trash. But the, for the font and the pitch, that's it's it's an automatic rejection. All right, so let's look at the requirements. What they're asking for? Uh, what type of work your company's performed in the past? Similar? Can your company manage a task of this nature? If so, provide details. What specific technical skills do you can possess and ensure the uh, capability of perform this? Please note that under Small Business Act, you must perform 50% of the work. Uh, provide your company information for performing a fifth percent of the work. Provide a statement including your current large business status, company profile, uh, annual revenue history, office locations, cage code, responses. Notes will also indicate whether you're a small business or not. That's it. Pretty straightforward. Right? Stone Park said, Eric, get some real experience to try it. Might be a waste of time, but uh, yeah, no. I'm I'm good. I don't need to try it. I've tried enough screw ups in my life. That's I don't need any more. Uh, trailer refurbishment. Where's one I want to see? There's one I want to see. Oh, this Guam portable office. I actually know people that do portable office in Guam, which I find fascinating. Here. I don't even know how to highlight those thing. Okay, cool. All right, I'll come back and look at this later. All right. Federal Retirement Benefit Calculator. That's interesting. Let's look at that. That sounds pretty uh, unique. Okay. I'm just wondering, do they want us to make a calculator? I'm just kind of confused with this. Uh, let's see. FA requirements for web-based interactive retirement benefit calculator, both FA human resource benefit specialist function and FA employee benefits function that allow the user to perform multiple retirement estimate calculations. All right, so this is some sort of software solution they're looking for. Cool.
Let's get rid of this dry cleaning thing. So the incumbent contractor for this procurement is Econa Systems Inc. All right, so Mills must demonstrate the contract system must have been in production for at least five years uh, for delivering the full range of federal benefits. Submittals must detail the technical approach to configuring and implementing the contract system. Must show and system implements and calculates air traffic controller special provision retirement card. Yeah, this is very specialty work. Not for me. All right, let's keep going. Tracy, that's totally my hex code. Uh, my man says Guam is beautiful. Never been to Guam. Uh, you do not have to be 8A for to win any solicitation. So the answer is no. All right, let's keep going. All right. Uh, Tajikistan Security Guard Services. Uh, is this this is interesting because people often ask me, do you have can you be uh do you have to actually be a uh, citizen to do government contracts? And the answer is no. You do not have to be a United States citizen to do government contracts. Uh, what the rule when it comes to citizenship applies to certifications, not contracts. Power management system, Lucy Knight Power Management System. Rotosa Cayenta Health Center on Optometry. All right, IT security and operations maintenance staff support. Panel indicating. Insurance match services, unpaid child support claims. Who wants to do this? What insurance guy handles unpaid child support claims and matches uh, with an insurance product? That sounds pretty interesting. Cover takes office space in Connecticut. Puerto Rico road toll transponder tax payment services. Uh, Green Peter Reservoir generated purchase. A street road sweeper. Training simulators. Job Corps design build Maytok. Ooh. I like to get on that one. I wonder where that one's being built. Aircraft cargo door, rail trainer for services, small business event, IDIQ, A E services, chiller rentals. Chiller rentals super easy. Nobody out here see anything that they want to do. Two passenger electrical utility van, brand new or less, hauler pro elite. Credit check subscription services. That's interesting. Street sweeper. Joey says looking for data migration opportunities. Don't worry about it, chat box. You're good. Thanks, Brian, for that. Help each other out. By the way, if you're just joining the chat, first of all, hit the like button. Second of all, tell us who you are, what is it that you do, and the city that you're from. Okay? Just drop that in the chat. All right. Illinois Property Dealer, Chicago Real Estate Property Management. Street Sweeper. Infectious disease call service. Ah, sounds like a tough gig. Uh, Central Arkansas Veterans Healthcare Backup Generator. Department of Navy Post Production Engineering Integrated Logistical Support Services. Virtual Life Simulation. That sounds easy. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see anything exciting. Apple tree support. And there's a consultant. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what they're talking about here. So someone said, where did I pull these from?
All right, uh, we're here on sam.gov. Let me get through this one first real quick, and then I'll go backwards and show you where this came from, this data. U.S. Department of Justice, Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA, and EAP tends to issue a BPA to provide live on-site curriculum training and training services for the trauma team members. All right, what do they want us to do? All right, I don't see what they want. They're asking for the contractor. We'll find out in a minute. All right, so they intend to issue a BPA to support, implement, and enhance through their program areas, organizational development and consultation, crisis and critical event response, and reintegration or recovery from operational assignments and events, live and or virtual training and consultation, development of recommendations, plans, identified concerns, to really assess uh, exhibited clinical need and ensure safety of those participating. Yeah, outside of my realm. Anybody interested in this? Okay, I'll leave it for now. Uh, so to the person who asked me, where do we get this data from? I started here, sam.gov. Right? I'm in Sam. Excuse me. By the way, I'm signed in. Uh, I went under search. And then from there, I chose, uh, where it is, contract opportunities. And then I looked at notice types. I chose sources sought. And then for my date, I chose updated in the past week. All right. And then I achieved 808 results. Uh, and then from there, I click actions. I downloaded it to a CSV file. And then I upload the CSV file up here to Google Sheets so that I can easily do this and just scroll through all of them with my little mousey. So that's what I did. All right, and then that way I could go through the results very easily. I can also search and sort them uh, that way. Wow, I couldn't even say 53 people watching, only two likes. Please hit the like button. All right, and everyone follow each other on LinkedIn. This is a great place to connect and meet folks out here. You see, now you guys are using for the right things, networking. This is what it's supposed to be for. Don't just sit here and listen to me talk, network. All right. Uh, use my platform. There's 47. There's 49 people on here. Talk to each other. All right. Boring installation. All right. Solid waste removal. Some software. Artificial intelligence. Ooh. Where's my man? Wait, where's all my AI guys? Where are my AI people when I need it? RFI for artificial intelligence. I'm gonna drop this. I'm dropping this on LinkedIn. I'm dropping this on LinkedIn tonight. Defense Intelligence Agency, they're looking for new ideas to stand up artificial intelligence. I love it. All right, I'm dropping this in the, I'm dropping this tonight on LinkedIn. Boom. This is going on LinkedIn tonight. I'm telling you now. All right, love it. Heavy maintenance depots, uh, food service, uh, harbor dredging. Donor recruitment and collection programs, lab support services, sources of HVAC, Maxwell Air Force Base. Window washing, restoration, Detroit, Michigan. You know, what's funny is that people who do window washing and restoration services are not on SAM.gov looking at opportunities. I just, you have to think about it. 
uh, unleaded fuel contract. A lot of folks that can do this kind of work are not here looking for these opportunities. I don't know what the intro Jordan microwave is. So this is a chance for all of you out here. Again, there's folks. Ooh, Nate Safe Water Drinking Act compliance contract. Let's see what this is. I'm just curious what this is just because I'm nosy. Let's see what this is about. Uh, I was I watched a comedy special the other day. Uh, I can't remember the comedian, but he was saying, does anybody feel like they have clean drink of water in their city? Anybody feel like they drink the tap water from their uh, their house in their city? Anybody? I know when I lived in Cluiston, that water came out orange. Probably categorized as design engineering service project firms must have specialized experience uh, related to drinking water quality compliance in the act, such as specialized experiences including not limited to compliance in its essence. Uh oh, Hunter B says they do. Nope, I see. Nope, nope, nope. Not in Philly. Hunter B, where city are you in? Still more pollution. Okay, so this is this is uh, this is for a company that has that technical specialties. Detroit. Oh, the Great Lakes of Detroit. All right. I'll give you that on the Great Lakes of Detroit. All right. Detroit came through for something good. That's great. All right. Where are we at? Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Social Office Lease Space in Ponce, Puerto Rico. Subscription for media streaming distribution services and content providers. Yeah. Someone sent me this the other day. They're having a hard time finding people that could. Fill this opportunity. Demography imaging. Uh, let's see. Real property financial information audit readiness program. Patient label with support and label services. Steamboat Island. Let's see. Hawaiian Islands unmanned systems. Okay. Let's see what else we do. Anybody else have clean drink of water they could drink? While we're looking around, procurement of Egyptian facility equipment, machinery and parts. Hmm. Fully credit academic program for master degree in systems engineering. How do you do that? NASA seeks interest in providing a site location for construction of NASA Mars sample receiving facility. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. I bet you if you could provide that site to NASA, you'd be paid for the rest of your life. Guantanamo Bay. Smoke detectors. Wow, we're 45 minutes into this thing. Robots. HVAC. Water system maintenance. All right, let me turn treasury, boiler systems. There's a lot of stuff out here. Nothing that's catching my eye. Port security barrier and repair replacement. Dental supplies. Bridge crane maintenance. Cutter heads. 
a lot of stuff in here. Food servicing. I got a student that does that. Rubber mats. Those are easy to fix and replace. Ball valves. Some more easy stuff. Some more clothing and laundry. Furnace realignment. Metalworking. Computer desk. Able to hide monitors. Building lease in Nebraska. Patient room TVs and Travis Air Force Base. Exhibits. If you know people that make exhibits. Unarmed security guard services. Anybody had a security combo? That that dry cargo time charters all the time. Some more flooring, IDIQs, and Yosemite Park. Great opportunity for folks to get there and make a clean up Yosemite Park. By the way, I love uh, anything park services related. Anything actually, uh, by the way, 65 people, make sure you hit the like button. All right. Uh, make sure you connect with folks on here. Tell people who you are, what you do. Tell us the city you're from. Uh, the other thing is that one of, you know, what I would like to mention is that there's a difference between working with the DOD, the Department of Defense, and non-DOD. They're both federal. Uh, DOD does have the largest budget, but they tend to be harder to work with when you're first getting started. Uh, whereas non-DOD agencies tend to be a lot less, um, a, a lot more forgiving uh, and a lot less restrictive than DOD, which, and it makes sense, right, uh, when you're dealing with military and emission systems as opposed to when dealing with like national park. So just some things that I've learned along the way that can help folks out here uh, to be better prepared. And so I'd like to share that because when you're looking at um, getting out here and you're just getting started or you've been at it for a while, uh, like I said, the podcast guest I just spoke to today, she said she was a subcontractor for four years before she ever actually became a client. So, uh, one of the things that um, I like to tell people is there's definitely uh, more than one way to skin a cat. But uh, if you've tried working with some of the DOD primes or some of the DOD agencies and you found it to be difficult, uh, maybe you want to try working with some non DOD folks. And so uh, I know it's very appealing to go to the, when you're doing your target market research and you look at the, the one that has the biggest high, right? But sometimes they also have uh, the people that are clawing and scraping and fighting and super competitive and they'll do whatever it takes to get that access to that money. Whereas when I first started and I was working with um, like national parks, they were telling me they couldn't even get people to bid on some of their projects because they were so small. Uh, Maria said that um, when Coast Guard was reaching out to her, they could not get people to bid on those projects because of their size as well. So I just I share that with folks to give them insight uh, because, again, when we're starting out, we need we need to learn from the mistakes of people that came before us, like moi, right, and not make some of those same mistakes and not bump our heads again because this market is for all of us. It's for everyone out here. Uh, by the way, and yes, I'll go back to the chart. Let me just share something real quick. If you have not seen this already and you're just, and again, maybe not for everyone out there, we have been, we're doing some technical assistance. The Department of Energy has what's called a prize. And so I talked about this last week. Uh, you can catch it on my YouTube channel right here. Winning your first $100,000 with Department of Energy prize. Go back in and watch it. But essentially they're giving a prize for an idea and uh it's a hundred thousand dollars just for your idea okay uh we're we're providing technical assistance to support this i'll drop it in the chat for those of you out here okay you type in duck on eric that doe and sign up to the list right uh we are providing technical assistance to support that uh, right now it's just for those people who are inside of our actual members that are inside of one of our paid programs but this is an opportunity for folks out there to pick up their first hundred thousand dollars as a prize and uh, start working with an actual agency and all they're asking for is a one-page write-up and a three-minute video and it's literally for an idea so I want to encourage people who 
maybe trying to figure themselves out. Uh, maybe they're not sure what, where they should start. This is something that uh, makes a lot of sense. And so I, I just want to encourage folks to take a look at it. It's, it's not that complicated. Like I said, we've done a couple sessions on it. Uh, and then when you look at it here, when it says who's eligible to apply, it, it basically uh, it's individuals and teams as well. So I just want to I want to say that, but and we'll go back to the charts. Okay. All right. Let's see a couple questions from folks. Someone said, "Go back up to." I didn't see that patient transport one. Yeah, uh, they're working on let me know those PFAS. Um, similar to you know when we do the carpet, the, the VOCs. Son, I can't find that patient transport one. Okay, Brian says go back up to computer desk. All right, let me go look at computer desk one. All right, let's go back up. All right, here we go. Do the desk. Let's see what they got over here on computer desk. Computer desk able to hide monitors. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. I don't know why they make the screen blurry. This is uh, StreamYard services. I'm not sure why they make it blurry. All right. Let's see. So this one. This is a docs file, so I'm going to pull it open. Unfortunately, for me to share it on my screen would be another mission. All right, I'll try to share it for you. Just for my man Brian, I'll share it. All right, this is what it says. Our requirement description is below. So they're looking for four for each dual workstations, two each single workstations. That's it. Example of desk with the required features is the Delta View by Right Tangle sailing characteristics of the following sections. That's it. That's all they're looking for. All right. All right, let's go back. Oops, wrong screen. Give me a second. Uh, I'm going to. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what we have in here. Yeah, uh, Brian, yeah, I, I don't, again, I'm using this StreamYard app. I'm not sure why it's fuzzy when it's on my computer screen. It's something with their system. But uh, it was it was nothing. It, I mean, it just said they were looking for uh, four computer stations. Uh, again, this is not solicitation, it's a source of thought, but I will share it with you the number. I'll drop it in here for you right now. There you go. Krista Rivera, what's up? Okay, let's see. Somebody asked some questions. I'm going to go through them quick, quickly try to answer. All right. How do you price a one year plus four option for waste removal if waste picks up twice a week for one dumpster but is needed on another dumpster? Aunt Caruso. Um, 
I think you're gonna have to come up here and ask that question in person. Because I need I need more context. I don't really get what you're saying um, in that one message. It says Houston, Texas, Frank Transportation Arrangement, Airline C, Healthcare Staff, and RSVP. All right, census. How do we find primes working on contracts to bid to them as a sub? So there's a couple ways that you can do that, son. Uh, well, one is you can go back to Sam. So let's go back over here to Sam. So the same way that I did, I searched here on Sam.gov and I looked at opportunities, right? So there's a couple things you could do. Instead of source to sub, you can go down here and you click on award notice, right? And then uh, let's see, this is on the past week, we could do past month, right? And so here's a list of people who award contracts in the past month. You can sort it by whatever criteria you want, right? And so here is a, a very quick and easy list. Uh, let's go place performance. Let's choose state. Let's say Alabama, all right? So based on Sam.gov, award notices posted seven results in Alabama. All right, so that's one way that you can do it is here. That makes sense, right? So that shows you the awards that were Sam.gov. Now, this is again, this is in the past month. Um, one of the things that's different is Sam.gov is not showing you when they're issuing awards for task orders. So when you're looking at, right, this is only for single award bids that came through Sam.gov. Remember, the government buys a whole bunch of ways. Uh, one, one way that they do it is through IDIQs. So in that case, depending upon, right, the type of products they're looking for, Sun. Um, it may be uh, issued using a task order through an existing vehicle. So, for example, GSA, Professional Services Schedule, right? So they may be issuing task orders on that schedule. Hence, they won't be here in SAM.gov. At that point, you'd have to move over to, you would say, spending, right? And then from you say spending, you can look at award search, right? So you can do it by keywords, you can do it by uh, anything, right? So you can look at fiscal 23, you can look at the award type, you can look at the agencies, recipients, right? Uh, anything that you want, and you can determine, right? So again, if you want to, let's say you want to research who got sole source contracts, uh, and you know that your agency, uh, let's see, I don't have an agency I want. See, I don't have a funny agency. Let me think about. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate when these things move slow. All right. So let's see weapons contracts. Put 8A sole source. All right. And 2023. Let's see what we get. All right. So, so far this year, all right, there's been, oh, I'm sorry, let me put this on a big screen. So, so far this year, there's been three 8A so, okay, it says end date 11 7 224 8A sole source weapons contracts. He's here are the entities that did it. So um, if it's not in Sam.gov, which again, Sam.gov is not going to have task order information because they don't need to, then you got to go to a site like USA Spending, and that's where you find contractors as well that were awarded contracts. And so there's so many different search options in here. You could literally go make yourself crazy by searching. Uh, the different options. Does that make sense? I hope that answered that question. All right. When's the next DOE meeting? 
I submitted for assistance to submit our plan. Cool. Uh, good stuff. If you are just getting joining us, 84 people watching, make sure to hit, hit the like button, please. Uh, also, we were covering over sam.gov, bid opportunities. That's what we just went through today. Now we're discussing other things out here, questions. Um, again, going through, reminding people that if you've not already signed up, sign up. Uh, this DOE Community Prize, if you've not watched the video, go back. It's here on my channel. It's $100,000 for an idea. $100,000 for an idea. Okay, so for those of you um, who are thinking about, hey, you know, I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't have a product. I don't have a service. This makes a lot of sense. This prize is for coming up with solutions, right, to improve relationships of supporting clean energy projects and rural and remote communities. It's literally um, a less. It's a couple thousand words or less, and a three-minute video. And they want you to come up with an idea. And then from there, test your idea to see if it works. And if you make it to the level two, you'll get 200K to actually test it out. So uh, I just want folks to be aware of all of the opportunities that exist out here. If you missed that live, go back and watch it. We're also providing technical assist. Sign up for training right here. Oh. Put it in the chat. All right. Yes, Trey, uh, Soul Search and whip out a credit card. Uh, like I said, right now, Academy 3.0, um, if you are aware, one of the latest, th the latest thing that we're doing now is the Small Business Accelerator. So we're actually, what we've done is we've taken this Accelerator, which is a 10-week program, and we're going to have weekly Every Friday, we're going to go over the week's assignments to help people to pass the tests and the quizzes. And the idea is when you finish the 10 weeks and you achieve a passing score, right, um, then you will receive a certificate saying that you actually have knowledge and understanding of this. And so the goal, uh, one of the things that we're working towards is accreditation. But the goal would then be you could take that and uh, as a consultant, as a teaming partner, uh, people will feel confident that you have actual knowledge, working knowledge, and you internally will know that you know your stuff. So uh, you won't have to be guessing, am I competent, am I capable? Uh, you will know that you will because we will have tested you and you've shown your proficiency. So that's one of the new things. Uh, people always ask me, Eric, which one of the programs should I go with? The, uh, really, it's just in terms of the payment, but the, the fundamental difference between the 799 program is it does not include the small business starter, which is the 10 week program. So that's the difference between the 799 program. However, it does include Academy 3.0 plus, um, which again, that has all of the courses from proposal writing to consulting to the beginners, everything that you need. So the only difference is it doesn't include the new small business starter, which we just came up with. So for me, um, you know, it's still creating opportunities for people who want to get started again academy 3.0 we've had over 200 million dollars in student contract wins so it's proven itself worthwhile for the last three years that we've since we've launched it uh starting from 1.0 2.0 to now 3.0 plus so that's still a solid program for 7.99 is really a steal all right let's see ronnie says i noticed that every PNAS Morgan prize top 10 companies been doing target market let me see ronnie i don't know Let's check it out and see what he's talking about. Ronnie, I see top 10 right there. Oh, you're right, Ronnie. Oh, it took out the top 10 companies. Dang. Ronnie's right. It used to have on here the top 10 companies.
I don't know why this thing is so brainy. Ooh, Ronnie's right. They take out the top 10 companies. Hmm. So now you're really going to have to actually go through and scrape the data. <laughs> Interesting. Dang. See, my people are on it. Yeah, they made a little change to FPDS. It used to have on the left hand side top 10 companies. Uh oh. My man said, My wife and I believe in we sign up for a lifetime. So I guess we're married now. Oh, baby. I love it. I love it. Excellent. So we'll be, yes, we're married now. I love that. All right. I'm looking for a software that scrapes in on Gov. Um, my man Bryce said Gub Genie. Yeah, I know the guys who made Gub Genie. Um, but uh, you know what's funny that they I thought that they they discontinued it. Brian, are you still using it? Because I thought that they discontinued Gub Genie. I thought they did. So no, I love it. Um, so listen. It's 8.07. My plan was to be on here for an hour, but I definitely, like I said, if a couple things, we're going to close out today. Like I said, if you're not already on LinkedIn, make sure you're on LinkedIn. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you receive all the notifications. We still are going to do our Wednesdays while you don't have a contract. We're still supporting uh, those folks out here uh, on the Department of Energy's Rural Communities Prize. We want to help. Imagine if we can help. 50 people win $100,000, that's 5 million bucks. So again, um, we're changing lives one person at a time. We want to help those of you that want to help yourselves. This is an incredible opportunity. So again, uh, I don't know how much longer I'll be doing this, to be honest with you, as we start developing relationships to support government entities and agencies. I don't know how much longer I can keep up at this pace, right? At some point, everyone has to retire and, and move on to higher ground. So uh while i still have the energy to do this and keep supporting all of you take advantage of it all right thank you so much have a good night talk to you soon